Hey YouTube friends, Mass Bandit here with another episode of Conifer Slopes. This is episode 6 of Conifer nice. Slopes. We are in the entrance plaza to the GCI uh, Wooden Coaster Hawk. You might notice some changes. Uh, most nice. notably, the sign has changed. It's a little bit more uh, hawkish. <laughs> um, I've made a few changes that I never officially pointed out. And I'd like to go ahead and do nice. that now before we jump into the uh, time-lapse portion of the video. So I'm just going to wander around. And the first big change is, uh, I think it was back in episode 4, when I built this main street area here, this brick-inspired main street. I, uh, I, I had this building here as um, restrooms. And it stuck out on the corner like that real bad. And I didn't like that. And I got a couple really great ideas. And one of the ideas was make an alley. Well, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't quite go that direction. But I did um, kind of set it back a little bit and simplify it. And made everything else kind of fancier. And that really helped the issue. I think the sign still needs some tweaks. But uh, yeah, I've moved the restrooms. Um, some things I didn't show in the Hawk queue here in real time. I've added, um, this is the exit queue actually dive goes under the uh, station here. Um, this stuff is actually all that's going to be in the time lapse, so well, we'll take a glance at, glance at it now. We have the nest, which is supposed to be like the gift shop for Hawk, and we have a staff gate here. And there's a whole backstage area there that you're going to see being built in today's time lapse. Today's time lapse is a lot of nitty gritty behind the scenes detail, both in shoring up the backs of facades and building, um, building backstage areas. So here near the carousel, I never did really show everyone the new lamps. They are right here. You could see, um, you could see the new lamp. This is my favorite version, the single arm with the hanging basket. We also have an entertainer now, Foxy. Um, I thought it fit the park vibe the best, I suppose, as far as conifer slopes having that whole woodland rustic feel. Uh, granted, it's a hipster fox, but a fox nonetheless. <laughs> so here's the two-armed um, version, and I don't think it goes any higher than that. And it looks kind of train-inspired, which is kind of nice. I, I like that. So, yeah. I think, I mean, I, you've seen them in previous episodes, but I really wanted to point them out. Uh, went ahead and shored up all this area, but again, you'll see that in the time lapse. So just a couple small tweaks. Uh, I tweaked the, let me jump out of this view here. I tweaked the whole exit, or the whole plaza here, um, paths and everything, and I'm much more um, pleased with it. I think it looks a lot better now. So uh, with any, without any further ado, thanks so much for being here. And we're going to jump into the time lapse. So I will see you on the other side of this cut. Hey, so first thing I wanted to do in this episode was to go ahead and revamp the whole coaster plaza. Move the sign, rework the queue. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't working for me. And so the queue and the sign are the first things that need to be done. And uh, <clears throat> and once that was done, we needed to go ahead and rearrange where the priority queue went. And it's a little later in the general queue than I want, but placement-wise, that's about the best I'm going to get. So I'm I'm willing to live with it. Um, it's I think it's it, it'll be it'll work. And so uh, after we do that, after we get that that all situated. I go ahead and I start working on the custom sign. And that's what we're doing here. We're building ourselves a little hawk. Just like I did for the uh, Equus, the horse head. I went on I went on the old Google machine and found myself some silhouettes of hawks, some clip art. And that's all that's all this is, is it's my um, best attempt at making a silhouette of a hawk. And so yeah, um, this is about the third attempt. I had, I had tried a bunch of different ways, and then I found that building it flat on the ground was going to be my best bet, and so I did that. I went ahead and did that, and I built one wing, and then I tried to build another wing freehand, and it was looking really janky, so I decided why not just copy the wing? Like, if I did it right, 
I should be able to copy it and flip it around. And sure enough, that's what I did here. And this actually went, once I figured kind of out what I wanted, it went pretty quick. I realized that that head didn't look hawkish enough to me, so I, I reworked it, and it gets a little tribal, <laughs> a little angular and a little tribal before we, we, we settle on something. So for a while there, it was the, the Headless Hawk. That would have been an interesting name for a ride, I suppose, the Headless Hawk. And I just found some different, just fiddled around with some different pieces. That half circle ended up being the uh, deciding factor there. It ended up being what I went with. And surprisingly, that oval worked rather well. So, yeah, once I get the, uh, there we go. That, that's, about, that's about it. So, there you go. Could make it black, put it behind a moon type thing, and move it into place. That's kind of what I was, that's it. That, that, it. Okay, sped up eight times. It looks a lot faster than it really went, but that wasn't too bad. It went a lot faster than building the horse head. Practice, practice, practice. I think I'm getting better with working with the shapes in 2D. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to have to start trying some 3D shapes. So once we get the sign up there, it's just a matter of making it look like it's attached to the sign and beefing up the sign a little bit. Um, kind of almost feels like skyscrapers in the background. Uh, I don't know, I like it. I like the idea. Maybe it's a mountain. Maybe it's buildings. You don't know. Get on and ride. Who cares? Get in line. It's kind of <laughs> this is kind of what I was thinking. And then a simple little garden, mat nice manicured. I figured if this was a focal point, there would be a nice garden area in the front there. So that's why we went with a little extra pops of color. You know, really make the area look nice. I think we end up throwing some trees behind it. Oh, but I cut that part out. Of course I did. So then it's, it's, it's dressing up the queue. Now that I have the queue where I want it, it was it was time to time to dress it up, and and that meant outlining a big chunk with hedges, because that's an easy way to make your queue look nice. I also cut a bunch of that because that's boring. Nobody wants to see someone place hedges for four to five minutes. That's ugh, that's yucky. So <laughs> in the beginning of the video, I showed you a glimpse of the little shop called The Nest, and so here we are, we're building the nest. This was a neat little idea I had to create a diagonal structure, build your building, or build your build your little diagonal outcropping, and then just build a, a 90 degree wall, and nest them, ah, uh, get it, because this, get it, because the shop's name is The Nest, anyway, and you nest the 90 degree inside the diagonal, get it as close to the point as you can, and you have a pretty, pretty accurate, uh, building here as far as a perfectly 45 degree notch which is what i wanted and the roof line kind of threw me for a bit you can see I, I i struggle before i find something i land on and it's all because of the brick building next to it being just a tint too short for it to blend in better so i've already moved the height of the brick building once i think i might do it again i don't remember so um, the one gripe I have about this shop is that the front facade is pretty bland. Even once we trick it out with the sign, uh, this is a really kind of bland, bland shop. Uh, but then again, this is supposed to be like the dead corner of the park. In the original layout, this is a dead end over here. Hawk is a dead end. Uh, it's actually This is actually a pretty long uh, way to go to reach the dead end compared to the original. It was much shorter of an alley, but with the you know, the scaling of Planet Coaster and everything just needing to take more room and needing more room to flesh out the ideas, it ended up being quite a long corridor here. So um, I don't mind that this building is kind of drab, kind of plain. I kind of like it like that. It's neat. And it's simple, and I think that's kind of what you would have here. It's past all the busy hubbub. The only people that are really coming over here are the people that are getting off a hawk. So I, I don't think they would go all out to, you know, to make it. We add a little bit of, uh, we added a little bit of foliage and some, um, some paths, some, some path covering to kind of shore up because it is on a little bit of a slope. And then I decided this would be a perfect place to put in a, uh, a gate, a staff gate, a big old maintenance gate. And who knows what comes through here? Goods? I mean, this is going to actually be pretty close to the parking lot. So who knows what comes through here? I mean, it maybe once the area is, develops a bit more, I'll, I can come up with something. But I, it just felt too awesome of a place not to put one there. So that's why we did. 
it's got easy access to the coaster. It's got, you know, easy, like I said, easy access to the parking lot through the staff area, which is coming up soon. So mm, this is just building a real simple gate. Um, I struggled with it at first. I actually am looking at a picture right now of, I think I Googled wooden um, double gate or something <laughs> and saw a picture that looked decent and just sized it up to be this giant staff gate. And then we run into one of the issues after we fit, uh, we run into one of the issues here in Planet Coaster. And that's the paths. I'm still unhappy with the paths. And as far as I know, nothing is really changing with them in the big free April update, which I'm very grateful for the free update. But it still seems like there's a lot of people that are not totally thrilled with the paths. I can get them to work. It's fine. They work fine. Um, but every once in a while, like, the way they want to connect to existing paths so hard. And I know that you push control and that breaks it, but there's something funky. It doesn't work the way I, I, I want or I guess I expect it to. And so it's, it's just a, it's a little frustrating. And it was a little frustrating to realign the path perfectly under that station gate or the, the staff gate when I already had some path that was uh, already there. So just a little a mini rant from me about how paths are still not where I really where I really want them to be. So here we are. Um, this episode, you know, it's called The Nitty and the Gritty because it's all about backstage and it's all about cleaning up stuff that I've been ignoring. Uh, you'll see me finish closing up some 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 ass ends of the buildings here that I didn't that I never got to. But uh, here we're actually trying to add some details to the backstage area because if I'm gonna do it I want it to look good. I mean, it's it's really plain, but it should be. It should probably be even more cluttered and, and probably not as nice looking, actually. Um, but the, the types of clutter that I would want, I just didn't feel like building. Uh, like like, And I didn't want to steal too much from, from Ryan when he cluttered up our backstage area for Bro Coaster. So I just throw some things around, some remnants, and maybe if I find some more pieces that will work, I'll throw them back there. So... Yeah, this is my first real attempt in Planet Coaster at a backstage area, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly, I'm pleased with it. So we're going to create a little bit of a backstage parking area, because I always just kind of assumed that, like, employee parking somehow, I don't know, or just staff vehicles, like security vehicles or something, or, I don't know, who knows, maintenance trucks or, or gardening, I don't know, just, I expect there to be parking. If you work at a theme park and you know that's bunk, apologies. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's pretty much, yeah, then we're going to be building the backstage and you're going to see me do some more tweaking. Uh, today's a little bit of a shorter episode because like I said, it's, it's just a bit of a, a cleanup day, but I thought there's enough interesting stuff in here. You can see how I got to where we're at. So sit back and relax, enjoy the rest of the time lapse and enjoy the music. And we'll finish like we always do with some cinematics. You will see at the end of the time lapse working on the guest um, uh, parking lot and, and a, a neat little iron gate. So be on the lookout for that. And after this episode, uh, Connor for Slopes is going to take a bit of a back seat. I'm up to build in the Bro Coaster series, which means my attention will be there for the next two weeks. So you really shouldn't expect a uh, Connor for Slopes video for two to three weeks. So. A um, little hiatus, but this park's not going away. I'm having way too much fun building it, and I've got lots and lots of other ideas to get to. So um, just sit tight and enjoy the other stuff on the channel. And yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll be active there for a variety of things, not just uh, kind of for slopes or bro coaster, but all things planet coaster. So make sure you follow me there. Maybe we'll do a live stream on Twitch, and, and my channel is Mass Bandit 102 so yeah, check those out. Anyway, um, I said enjoy the music, but we're just about done. So <laughs> I talk too much. Uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great day, night, whatever. Thanks so much for being here. I uh, hope you enjoy. Have a great day, uh, time. Man, I'm redundant today. <laughs> Either way, there's a helicopter flying over my house. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'll see you in a few weeks. Later.